Hello, and welcome to Luxia Pro's Introduction to Video Editing. When you launch Luxia Pro, the first thing you'll see is the home screen. From here, you can start a new project, open up a recent project, or start a new recording. You can also select what aspect ratio you want your project to be in. For this video, we'll use the 16 to 9 ratio. Luxia Pro features an intuitive layout designed to streamline the editing process. At the top left, you'll find quick access to the media library and other important tabs like transitions, filters, and captions. Moving to the top right, you'll see the program panel and the source panel. The program panel allows you to preview your edited video in real time, giving you a clear view of how your project is coming together. The source panel lets you watch and select specific portions of your clips, ensuring precise control over the content you wish to include in your edit. Heading down to the bottom right, you'll find the timeline. This is where all your edits and creative decisions come to life. The timeline allows you to arrange and manipulate your video clips, sound clips, transitions, text, and so on. Lastly, in the bottom left, you'll find the Properties panel. This panel provides a comprehensive set of options to fine-tune and customize your clips. Here, you can access properties such as opacity, scale, position, rotation, and more. You can also apply keyframes to create smooth animations and transitions within your clips. OK, now let's import your footage into Luxia Pro. Simply click on Import Media and browse your computer to locate the desired files. Once your footage is imported, double click on a clip so that you can preview it in the source panel. You can reduce the playback resolution if you find that playback is erratic, especially if you're editing 4K footage. As we said, in the source panel, you have the ability to watch your footage and select specific in and out points. Select your in point by typing I on your keyboard and an out point by typing O. By setting these points, you can precisely choose the segments you want to include in your final video. To bring your selection into the timeline, click Overwrite. When you first add a clip to the timeline, Luxia Pro will prompt you to match the timeline settings to the footage automatically. This ensures a smooth editing experience with no mismatch resolutions or frame rates. If you don't want to select in and out points, you can drag the footage from your media library straight into the timeline. Scale your timeline by simply clicking and dragging either left or right to zoom in or out. You can also click Zoom to fit the timeline to use all the space available. Click and drag the yellow playhead to change your current position on the timeline. The green and red selector allow you to select a specific section in your timeline that you can then export. To clear your selection, double click on or right next to the playhead. For this edit, I will create a 15 to 20 seconds introduction to a video teaching how to make bread. I will now go ahead and select the in and out points for all the clips I want to use and add them to the timeline. With all my clips in the timeline, if I find that I need to make edits to the length of my clips, I can either split the clips, hit delete, or drag the edges of the clip to reduce their length. To close any gaps between clips, right-click and select Close Gaps on Track. Now that I have all my footage arranged, it's time to look at the bottom left panel in Luxia Pro, the Properties panel. For this particular video, I want to create a slow zoom effect. To do this, I will increase the scale of my video and then click on Add Keyframe. I will then move to the end of my video and bring back the scale to 100. Another keyframe will be automatically added to the clip. To ensure that the zoom happens throughout the clip, I have to bring both keyframes to the edges. Now, I'll do a slow zoom in to the next clip in my timeline to make the beginning of my edit even more dynamic.
Now, let's dive into some advanced editing techniques using Luxio Pro. In this clip, I want to add a touch of excitement by adjusting the speed using the speed ramping tool. I'll select a preset that accelerates the clip in the middle and then gradually brings it back to its original speed. I can then customize the timing to match my creative vision perfectly. My next step would be to add a smoother transition between these clips. I'll head to the Transitions menu and select Fade. Now I will drag it in between my clips to apply the transition. I can edit the transition's length by dragging its corners. Finally, the last shot could be a little brighter and more vibrant, so I'll head to the Filters menu and add an Exposure filter, adjust its settings in the Properties panel, and also a Vibrance filter. And also edit its settings in the Properties panel. Now, what are we missing? Music, of course. I did select a music track that I think works really well with this video, so I'll just drag it from my media library and adjust its length. I will also keyframe the volume so that it fades out at the end smoothly. Finally, to add a title to my video, I'll head to the text tool and select the style I want. I will then drag it onto the timeline and edit the text properties to achieve the look I want. I'll keyframe the beginning of my text clip to make it fade in. I think I want to add a little bit more drama to the ending of my clip, so I'll go to the Overlays menu and add some light leaks right at the end of my edit. Now, let's take one last look at our video. And that's it! We've edited a video using Luxio Pro. Now it's time to export it. Click the Export button in the top right corner to open the Export menu. Here, you can choose between the different options to produce your video. The Local tab shows you the different formats in which your project can be exported, and the Device tab shows you presets based on specific devices. You can always change the presets by going into Settings. If you want, you can also export directly to platforms like YouTube or Vimeo. For this video, I'll choose MP4 and then click on Settings. Now, I could choose between one of the three quality options for the video or select each and every parameter I'd like to adjust. To make things easier, I'll choose Best. Now you can watch your export happen in real time. And you can also select to play a chime sound so that Luxio Pro lets you know when it's done. So thank you for watching this introduction to video editing using Luxio Pro. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I would also like to extend an invitation for you to join us on our photo film community where I regularly host photo and video editing workshops with Alec Watson and Adam Price. 
Here, you will have the opportunity to engage in meaningful conversations with fellow photographers and videographers, ask questions about ACDC software, and even participate in monthly challenges aimed at refining your photography and videography skills.